scene. Thomas's office in the new Misty Hollow Vet Clinic. I really need to pick an assistant. There's only this last applicant. Strawberry's crazy friend who plays healer to the wood sprites in the forest or something. Knock knock. Well, might as well get it out of the way. Come in. Sorry I'm late. I just got into a bit of a situation in my kitchen and I needed to stick around long enough to make sure I hadn't summoned a demon again. I mean, it was just brownies this time. It's not like it was a sauce. But since the last incident. What, does that happen often? Well, you know, I only attempt brownies once or twice a year. I meant, summoning a demon. Oh, well, it doesn't happen as often as brownies. Here's my resume. I see. Um, this is a letter to Chief Kekathar apologizing for unprofessional conduct. Oops. Sorry, wrong one. Try this. So you're interviewing for the position of veterinary assistant, Ms. Fershand. It's Tabby. Just Tabby. In any case, the main responsibilities of the position are assisting me in exams and surgeries, caring for the animals on site, maintaining files, ordering supplies. Strawberry says you have some experience in the field, though you don't have any accreditation? Yes. Your last job was assistant to Dr. Uh. Dr. Tiny Klinitnik, but everyone just calls him Tiny. He's a Sasquatch medicine man and he's been training me. He has a clinic in the dark forest and travels all around to non-pony settlements that don't have access to proper medical care. You've worked with a variety of species, then? Oh, sure. Dacatans, Jellicles, Fuzzawugs, Hodags, Humans, Raccoons, all the usual. Is Dr. Tiny? Just Tiny. You only use the title with his proper name. Is he licensed by the Mestruna Medical Association? No, not since last year's sanctions. So he can't legally diagnose conditions, perform surgery, or dispense medicine in this region, right? You know the medical board certification is weighed heavily against non-equines. And there aren't enough pony doctors willing to check on the welfare of isolated tribes. Look, I know it's an imperfect system. I'm not looking to get anyone in trouble. But, for understanding your qualifications, I would like to hear more about his methods. Well, his bread and butter cure is magic injections that he makes himself from sphinx mushrooms and black blood of the earth and crulodotite and all that. Is that, effective? Yes. In the Sasquatch medical circle, he is highly regarded with numerous journal articles to his credit. Not that those are admitted in this world. Oh, I'm not really up on Sasquatch medicine. Why are you no longer with Tiny? I still work with him. I'm just doing this interview to humor him. I told him I wouldn't get the job, but he thinks it's important for my personal development or whatever. And what would Tiny say are your strengths? Oh, he would say that there's no flies on me, definitely. That's a Sasquatch expression a compliment, really because if you sit still, flies will settle on you, but if you're moving around a lot, they won't stay, so? I see. He would also say that I'm the best flea picker he's ever worked with. That he meant literally? I think. Hum well that certainly is, something. Let's talk about your education. I see you went to New Pony, majoring in genetics for, one semester? Yes. I didn't really adapt to city life. But you will note that, during that semester, I worked at the molecular biology lab. What were your responsibilities? Putting invoices in numerical order, taking cardboard to the dumpster, putting away shipments, that sort of thing. Once, I assisted with defrosting the freezer. Interesting. Then you have an associate's degree from Pony Pride University, and then a culinary certificate from Greener Pastures Tech, and last year you graduated with a bachelor's degree from Neoshikoro. Yes, in organizational administration. Really? Um, and your other work experience. At Pony Mart you have been a deli clerk, bakery manager, cashier, customer service specialist, and inventory management. And aside from your work with Tiny, you are currently, self-employed. May I ask what you do? I sell collectibles on eCove. Is that lucrative? It can be. Though, I must say, that's a fine-looking mid-century modern atomic starburst clock you have over there, if you are ever interested in selling. It's a keepsake from my parents. I think I'll hang on to it. Pause asterisk Ms. Fershand. Tabby, you're not really interested in this job, are you? You would find this a very different environment from what you're used to. This is modern medicine, not magical folk cures. Oh, because science and magic can't possibly coexist. You must admit, the area of magic is overrun with quacks, and there is a distinct lack of quality research. I'm not saying it's all bad, but it is difficult to screen for safe applications. You don't even use magic, do you? You've given up, completely sold out your heritage. 
Wince, there's more to life than magic. Any unicorn worth the name ought to be prepared with at least the most basic skills to act in an emergency. Especially one in the medical field. Most magic healing is just superficial repair and wouldn't change the balance between life and death, anyway. Oh, is that all that can be done? There are highly trained professionals that can perform magic surgery, yes, but there are strict sanctions governing magic healing, and it doesn't appear that you hold those credentials. I assume we're done here. Wait, am I crazy for even considering her? I have an Abyssinian waiting on surgery for a luxating patella. Are you familiar with that type of operation? Well yes. It was a GY trash. Is this soft tissue alteration or just a trochleoplasty? It's a grade 4 case that will require a block recession. Get prepped for surgery. You can consider it a tryout. Later, after the surgery, humming to herself, nice kitty, la la la. She may be unconventional, but she does know what she's doing, and there's something about her I can't shake. I'm offering you the job. What? Why? I think you have a lot of potential and deserve a chance. In spite of being woefully underqualified, you mean? Laugh. You're crazy. Or maybe I'm the crazier one for considering it. Fine, I'll do it. But only because I know Tiny will take me back once you come to your senses and kick me out. I want you here at 8 o'clock tomorrow. I'll be here by 8.30. I wonder what I'm in for now.